Weeks one through three of the NFL season have brought nothing but chaos for fans of all 32 teams. Although the Chiefs are still 3-0 with the referees on their side, we have seen some switch-ups in both offensive and defensive schemes. Through three games, Sam Darnold has led the Vikings to a 3-0 start, while Aiden Hutchinson leads the league in sacks on pace for quite an elite mark. Tight ends have become non-existent, and passing seems to no longer be the focal point of each team's attacks, but running backs are feasting, and Jawan Jennings has been padding up his stats. Although quarterbacks have been struggling as of late, a top five list is what we present on this Penn State Sports Night slate. I'm Jeremy Rose, joined alongside both Jack Danitz and Emily Supli. Quarterbacks are still in need to be ranked, but we will start both of your lists, five through three. With stars like Tua Tagovailoa potentially out for the year, a consensus top five may not be too clear. Derek Carr is on a resurgence, just to add to the mix, while Dak Prescott looks shaky, and could it be a great year for Bo Nix? These top fives we'll hop into. Jack, let's start with you. I want your five through three, and then later on, your top two. Awesome. I'm going to start with Brock Purdy for my five. Uh, he's a very consistent quarterback, and with a great offensive line by the 49ers. Uh, and also, let's go back to the two years he's been playing. Uh, Super Bowl with the Chiefs. Yes, he didn't win, but he showed that he can pl- he can keep up with Patrick Mahomes. Mm-hmm. Is he Tom Brady? No. Is he, is he Patrick Mahomes? Is he Lamar Jackson? No. He's young. And he's going to get better. Listen, he has a low-tier throwing arm, but he's good at anticipation, which means he's good good at what he does. And that's why I think he's by top five. I think going forward, he's going to improve. And with the 49ers uh, offense, I think he's just going to improve and someday become Tom Brady. And moving on, um, I got to go with uh, C.J. Stroud. Uh, won Rookie of the Year last year, uh, has been on a rocky start so far. Um, defense uh, hasn't been as well and has taken 11 sacks. But I think if defense has improved, improvements and offense improves, I think he'll be a powerhouse QB, and I think he would be higher on my list. Yeah. But and then moving on, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, at three. A three. Patrick Mahomes at three. Where do I start with Patrick Mahomes? Ooh. Three-time Super Bowl champion, two-time MVP, and what I think is he's probably going to be the next Tom Brady. Let's be completely honest. Um, the Chiefs had been on a rocky start. I mean, almost losing to the Bengals. Yeah. And I think it's not all on him. I think Travis Kelsey has been inconsistent. Yeah. And listen, the Chiefs are an amazing team, but... So far, yes, it's early in the season. Very, yeah. But and you can't just assume anything yet. But you got he's you got to improve. I mean, yeah, you got to improve. If you're living up to this, you got to improve. <laughs> if you're Patrick Mahomes, you if do you're have Pat- to yeah. improve. Exactly, you have to improve. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. if he's the next Tom Brady, I'd put him a little higher up. No, right? exactly. you know? <laughs> listen. Yeah, absolutely, Emily. We'll take a look at your your five through three for now. What you got? What you got for us? All right, number five. I got Jalen Hurts. Um, so Hurts, I mean, he's like he's a good quarterback. He's gonna be able to throw. He's gonna be able to run the ball. Um, I mean, right now he's, I mean, he's doing good. His top two receivers are out right now, and he's working with what he's got. I think Fair Saquon enough. Barkley was a huge addition for the Eagles. Um, I mean, yeah. Jalen Hurts. It's really gonna take the pressure off of him later in the season. I, last year they fell off. They went ten and one, and then after that they won one game. But I really think Saquon Barkley is gonna help with that. I think Jalen Hurts has. I really think he can be higher on that list for me if he fixes his interceptions. I mean, since 2023, he's led the league in the most amount of interceptions. And, I mean, we've seen through the first three weeks of the NFL, he has six turnovers, four of those being interceptions, two of those being fumbles. I think if he cleans that up a little bit, we can see him higher in the ranks, in my opinion. All right, number four, like Jack, I got C.J. Stroud. Um, Again, I think he has a ton of potential. A ton of potential. Um, young guy, rookie last year, won Offensive Rookie of the Year. Um, I just really think he has a ton of potential. You mentioned the sacks. He was sacked 11 times. Mm-hmm. Um, I really don't think that's a fault of his own. I mean, I there's agree. probably a few instances he could have avoided it, but again, that offensive line really needs to tighten up. Um, and again, what I really love about C.J. Stroud is um, his ability to not turn over the ball. Um, the first time he turned over the ball – was last week, um, or sorry, week three against the Vi- the loss against the Vikings, right? He had two interceptions, but um, the last time he did that was in week 10 of 2023 in November. So I'm, that's 
pretty good for a quarterback, so I it like is, to see that. Um, and number three, I got Josh Allen. Um, I think he's a good. I think he's a good quarterback. I'm not going to deny that. Um, but I really think that you know I can see some improvement from him. I I do see a lot at the beginning of this season. Really, mm-hmm. his passing accuracy has improved. Um, he's got more touchdowns at this time of the year than he did last year. Um, but again, I just think there's a few more QBs that um, have a little bit more on him. So. A couple more QBs on that. Uh, for both of you guys, Brock Purdy, very interesting pick. I don't think he's a top five quarterback. I think he plays in the best system in the NFL. Any quarterback in my eyes is going to be successful. Uh, Jalen Hurts, kind of a similar kind of a similar thing. He's playing obviously now with a much worse team than he started off the season with. Saquon Barkley is taking a lot off of his shoulders. Sure. That's something that the, that the Eagles absolutely needed. CJ Stroud, I was really high on him starting off the year. He's taking too many sacks. Their offensive line isn't holding up as well as they should be. Um, but I think it's a bright future for you know all these guys on the list. Brock Purdy, except for Brock Purdy, I don't think he has a bright future. <laughs> unless he stays in San Francisco in that case, I think mm-hmm. his future is going to be quite bright. But first, or next, I want to take a look at Emily. Give me your top two. Who you got? All right, two. I got Mahomes. Like you said, he could be the next Tom Brady, so he's got to be at number two. No matter who you ask, <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, unless you ask Jack, he's going to be in the top two or one. Um, for, ho- for me, I only put him at two because I see him underperforming just a little bit this season. Um, I agree. His, yep. In his passing game, it's been a little bit under by about 150 yards compared to where he was at last year. Um, His touchdowns are down a little bit. Um, But again, I think that part of this can be um, contributed to the fact we haven't seen that Kelsey Mahomes duo. Um, But again, Kelsey's being double coverage right now, so there's going to be other receivers who are open, like the rookie Isaiah Worthy, or um, Rice has been his go-to so far. Rice has been insane this season. He really has been. Mm -hmm. He's seeing, he's seeing over half of the targets right now, so I think that's really what's helping Mahomes. But um, I, I really love Mahomes. His ability to play inside the pocket, outside the pocket, I mean, I think he's a great quarterback. I do have Lamar at number one, though. I'm going to say I think throughout the season this can be a toss-up, but for me, Lamar, um, I just love his ability to run. Already he's at 200, around 250 yards for the season. That's an average of 85 yards per, per game, which is insane. Last year at this time, he had about – averaging 50 yards per game rushing. I think that this could really set him apart from other quarterbacks. I mean, he, like you've said, he already has two MVPs. Um, I think that maybe this year he could be going for a third. Three is on the way. Jack, what you got for your top two? Top two, I got Lamar himself. Uh, let's start, let's talk about, talk about him. He's speed, he's the speed. Mm-hmm. Rushing yards. Yesterday's game, we saw him against Dallas. Improvement from the first two games they played. Yeah. Especially against the Chiefs, I mean, that to- that t- last touchdown in the last quarter. I mean, oh my God, um, uh, and he's working with. I mean, the Ravens new de- new offense. I think he's, he has to get adjusted with them, and once he does, I think he's going to be his stats are going to go through the roof, and I think he's going to perform insane this season. And then my number one. Josh Allen, like you said, passing yards have improved. Uh, re- receiving is retru- approved. Um, and with Stephon Diggs gone, and it that could it pop be a uh, sorry. A, hmm. yeah, it's def- definitely an adjustment yeah, he's playing adjustment. with. Yeah, he's right. not he's not sitting there playing adjustment. with that top five receiver. But he's with been the playing new receiving with. now. I think he's def. It's we've seen him go on. I think it's gonna be three, three old lead now. Uh, it's definitely been an improvement, yeah. and I think he's going to go all out this season. Josh Allen's been playing pretty impressive this year with the lack of weapons he has. Mm-hmm. James Cook and him have put together a really, really solid back, you know, back backcourt duo, as we'll call it. Uh, and as it comes to Lamar Jackson, he's been so far. I think he's been playing not as well as he should. I think his passing is not up to par, but he's mm-hmm. making up for that in yeah. the running game. He's been really, really effective all throughout the season. I'm really excited to see how the rest of this season does, in fact, shake out. And with three weeks down and 15 weeks to go, the rest of the NFL season is a mystery you know. If you want to stay updated from now until January, look no further than Sports Night. Stay close. We're not scary. Have a great night and enjoy the rest of your week. Also, follow us on YouTube to see the facts we may speak. For Jack Danitz and Emily Supley, I've been Jeremy Rose. Thanks for tuning in. We're glad to be the sports channel you chose. Hey, everybody. Thank you for tuning into this edition of Penn State Sports Night. We hope you liked that segment. And we're sure there's other Penn State Sports Night segments that you are going to love as well. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. And check us out on social media for updates and behind the scenes clips and pics. Follow us on Twitter at PSSNTV and on Instagram at PSU Sports Night to keep up with all the action. 
For all of us here at the Belisari Media Center, we are Penn State Sports Night.